We are Raising Voyagers. In our last video, we got caught in the rain and a tourist trap. But today, we get to explore a magical fairy tale land just outside of the beautiful Lisbon, Portugal. We're going to see some castles. It's a long walk up the hill. It's raining. Yeah. Do we have any umbrellas? No. Well, we do we not did. have any what? umbrellas. Hello, the sack. What was we did? I'm weeding. I'm weeding the rain. So we came out today to explore these castles and we thought it was gonna be like really nice, good weather today and it's raining. So we're not really prepared. We didn't bring any jackets or umbrellas or anything. Um, so hopefully we'll go okay and we won't get soaked. We are exploring Sintra, which is about an hour outside of Lisbon. Um, and it's this incredible complex with uh, a ton of different castles and palaces and uh, we are headed up to Penna Palace right now and here's our first view. It's a little foggy today. That's the top right there. Yeah, that's the top. Right I said Alexa, doesn't it feel like we're in a fairy tale? She says, uh, no. <laughs> Fog is so dense that you can actually see it blowing past you. And I, I don't don't think I've ever seen fog so thick you could actually see it before, uh, but it makes for some interesting pictures. Okay, go ahead, Chloe. Is that one more hand now? Mm -hmm. Wow. Have you been to Arctic? Yeah. Whoa. Just missing one thing. We need a door that we can close. <laughs> just walk you in there and we'll be back after and lunch. We'll see you okay. later. <laughs> That's a drawbridge. Oh, she's gonna leave it. came here without knowing any facts about this palace, um, just that it looked really cool. So uh, um, in a moment here, we will have ourselves a Google and figure it out. But um, as of now, I'm going with a child commissioned this because it is full of really like exaggerated details and super colorful uh, walls. And it's all these bright oranges and blues. Uh, and it honestly just looks like a children's playground, or like a Disney palace. I tried to find a little bit of information about this castle. This started as a chapel that was built in like the Middle Ages and then kings along the line in Portugal thought it was beautiful and wanted to kind of keep adding to it and um, it was turned into a monastery and then um, eventually one of the kings decided that they wanted it for a summer home for the Portuguese. Um, Portuguese? Portuguese. <laughs> Portuguese royal family. Um, they wanted it for um, a summer home for the Port I can't say it. Why can I say it? Portuguese. Portuguese? <laughs> Portuguese. Along the line, one of the kings decided that he wanted to um, make this a summer home for the Portuguese royal family and um, they used it up until the queen was exiled eventually and she spent her last night here until she was exiled. What do you want to do now, Alexa? Eat 
lunch. Eat lunch? It's not lunchtime yet. So we made the mistake of uh, not going inside of the palace from the get-go. Um, we purchased tickets to get inside. I didn't realize they were extra to get inside, but uh, by the time we were ready to explore the interior of the castle, there is now at least a three-hour line, uh, which I can't imagine it's worth it. So we are headed out and we'll see what we do next. So the one good thing about all this fog is it's creating the perfect light and the perfect environment to take pictures. Uh, so we're having almost as much fun leaving the uh, palace as we did back up in the palace. And uh, Chloe and Alexa are doing a good job tolerating me. You did a good job. <laughs> The grounds here are so huge they have a bus system to take you from place to place because it would take too long to walk. You can walk but it would be a very long walk. So right now we're on the bus and we're going to go to our next little stop hopefully um, we might get some lunch. There's a village they're dropping us off in so hopefully we'll get some lunch and then do a little more exploring. <laughs> so we just got, me and Alexa just got shut back in the bus. For a second, they were going to leave Brady and Chloe here and we were going to stay on the bus, but luckily the bus driver saw and opened the door for me so we could get out. So it's been a while since we've been to Europe. Um, we've been traveling other places lately and uh, this is one thing that we have missed is how many playgrounds they have all over the cities, um, all throughout Europe. It's uh, very family friendly and we're very excited. I'm a pilot and I'm, this is my ship. I'm pilot Chloe. Our boards. Oh, that's a twin sound. Oh, you can say that for a boat too. Okay. Our boards. Can you say, our matey? Oh, matey. Oh, matey, where do you want to go? I want to go to the swing set. Okay. Yeah. We're here at the swing set. We stopped in this little village and this is pretty cool. We are walking around, exploring a little bit. There seems to be lots of cute shops and restaurants and um, it's just a, a really nice little town. Having a, a traditional European lunch here, all croissants and pastries and more pastries and more pastries and we'll get pastries for dessert. <laughs> So Centra Village just reminds me a lot of Switzerland. I'm not sure, quite sure what it is about it, um, but this architecture and these cobblestone streets, uh, it's just a, a fantastic little visit here. We're going to a wishing well. I think we found a shortcut. It's not a shortcut. Is there a dead end? According to the map, this may be a shortcut, but I don't think it goes all the way up. I don't know. <laughs> up? You going up? Yeah. It's that's an a adventure. Dead end. <laughs> adventure. It's an adventure. We're all about those shortcuts. <laughs> shortcuts that could turn into long cuts. This is kind of like a roundabout. Yeah. Job, a human Chloe. roundabout. A human roundabout. <laughs> that no cars can drive. You're right. Look at that. Look at that. 
stick with me, kids. Shortcut, now we're turning it off. It does not look like all right, so this is what we came here to see, and there are a lot of people here. All the time, morning, evening, and midnight, such a wonderful delight. This is not actually a well uh, per se to get water. This was built as a uh, Freemason initiation site, so it's called the Initiation Well. Uh, there's not that much known about it exactly what it was used for. Uh, but now it's just used for pictures. Look at these tunnels. So at the bottom of the well is uh, a tunnel that leads to another portion of the grounds. Uh, this entire uh, space is about four hectic acres and it's covered in underground tunnels and various wells that connect to each other. This is cool. Mom, Daddy, which way should we go? This way. Okay. So, ow, I hit my head. Oh, Daddy hit his head. Ow. So this whole complex was just built by one rich guy who had too much time on his hands and uh, wanted to make a cool uh, little complex for himself. So this is another one of the wells on the property. Um, not as well uh, kept or as beautiful as the other well, uh, but it's still pretty cool. So this well is really cool because the interior of it is just held together by all of these rocks glued together in cement. And it creates a really interesting architecture. You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come right here to say This is your castle. It's Chloe's castle. Oh, my castle over there! a few different castles around the world, different places we've traveled, and they're always really beautiful and kind of cool, but this has been like really, really neat. It has exceeded all of my expectations for, you know, what I imagined just kind of walking around and looking at some castles would be like. This place is like, kind of like real life Disney World, like just, it feels like we're in a fairy tale everywhere we go. And what would it be without a dose of reality? All of these pathways are just insane. I just can't believe that one guy commissioned this entire place. <laughs> it's so <spelled> out. <laughs> it's a little slippery. I found a shortcut. Look what's down there. Sweet. It actually is a shortcut. 